If you've been following the recent explosion of generative AI, you'll know there's an arms race heating up between the big tech giants. OpenAI fired the starting pistol last year when they wowed us all with ChatGPT, their conversational AI assistant. This sent companies like Google and Microsoft scrambling to come up with their chatbot contenders. But Google has been brewing something special in their AI labs, a secret weapon they believe can finally topple GPT-4, OpenAI's newest and most powerful language model. Its name, Gemini, and it ain't no twin. This is a beast of an AI with advanced multimodal capabilities beyond anything we've seen before. Well, let's break down Gemini's capabilities and benchmark its performance against GPT-4 step by step. First, it's important to understand that Gemini has three main variants for different use cases. Gemini Ultra is the crown jewel. It's designed to tackle highly complex tasks like scientific research or analysis of massive datasets. This version achieves state-of-the-art results across nearly all AI benchmarks, topping even GPT-4 thanks to its advanced reasoning and multimodal talents. Next is Gemini Pro, optimized for versatile performance across a wide range of tasks. While not quite as adept as Ultra, Pro still achieves impressive results, and its efficient design allows it to scale easily. This makes it suitable for commercial deployment in applications like search and natural language processing. Finally comes Gemini Nano, which is tailored for efficient on-device execution, think smartphone assistants and other consumer use cases. By distilling down to just the essential AI capabilities, Nano can run smoothly on mobile hardware with limited resources. It brings next-gen intelligence to your pocket. For our matchup today, we'll be looking at Gemini Ultra versus GPT-4. Let's start by examining their prowess with text benchmarks, but before that, remember to like the video and subscribe to AI Ally if you haven't yet. On standard academic benchmarks for evaluating language models, Gemini Ultra dominated GPT-4, achieving state-of-the-art results on 30 out of 32 tests. Yeah, you heard that right. Gemini topped the charts on 94% of benchmarks. Especially impressive was its performance on tests requiring complex reasoning abilities. On MMLU, which measures understanding and drawing connections across texts, Gemini scored an incredible 90% accuracy. That beats its closest competitor by a massive 11 percentage points. But Gemini's real superpower lies in its multimodal capabilities. This allows it to seamlessly combine and cross-reference different data types like text, images, audio and video. Gemini was built from scratch to handle multiple modes of information, whereas most multimodal AI models stitch together separate text and image components, with messy results. Across both text and image tasks, Gemini consistently outmuscles single modal models. For example, when asked to solve visual puzzles requiring an understanding of graphics and accompanying text descriptions, Gemini nails them much more often. Researchers also tested Gemini on its ability to match audio clips to relevant text summaries. Once again, it trounced GPT-4, demonstrating a deeper comprehension of spoken language. This could make Gemini invaluable for applications like automated captioning and speech-to-text services. Now let's switch gears and examine Gemini's coding capabilities in more depth. As we learned earlier, Gemini completely dominates in its ability to understand, explain and generate high-quality code across multiple programming languages. Specifically, Gemini's coding prowess exceeds that of any other model across code generation, comprehension, unification, translation, bug detection, repair, optimization, documentation, testing and more. Researchers tested Gemini Ultra on 32 benchmarks from the Code Exclude benchmark suite, designed by Microsoft to rigorously assess AI coding models. For example, when evaluated on Human Evil, a benchmark measuring a model's ability to solve competitive programming problems, Gemini proved to be remarkably proficient. When given only a natural language description of a coding task, it could produce high-quality code to accomplish the objective. The generated code compiled correctly over 97% of the time, a new record. Additionally, Gemini's strong performance on Codex Glue establishes it as an ideal foundation for building more advanced coding assistance. As proof, researchers leverage Gemini to create AlphaCode 2, an AI system tailored specifically for coding competitions. They found that adding Gemini boosted AlphaCode solutions by 8 percentage points, demonstrating the model's usefulness in developing specialized coding tools. Researchers also demonstrated Gemini's skill at generating musical scores and corresponding audio when prompted with lyrics or musical concepts. This shows that Gemini has a deeper grasp of music theory compared to previous models restricted to text. Experiments found Gemini could produce original compositions including multi-part arrangements, 
that correctly implemented complex musical techniques like modulation and thematic development when given minimal prompting. So what do you think? Is Gemini a game changer for Google? Are there any other AI face-offs you'd like to see in the future? Let me know in the comments.